Hi! Yesterday I received an Org Delight camera and I'm ready to test if, it, if we can use it in our robotic startup. Uh, for now we are using RealSense cameras uh, as our main camera. Uh, also we are testing Z stereo camera and for few projects we use more expensive uh, and precise 3D cameras. Uh, Org Delight look promising. Uh, the price is lower than other 3D cameras. Uh, it has a Myriad X processor on board, uh, which also can be used in our pipeline. Uh, my review plan for this video consists from three points. Uh, unpack camera and check for construction and how it look. Uh, check the heating, uh, how well heat is removed. Uh, look at the quality of uh, 3D image, check how good uh, it for our case and uh, make a small research about uh, improvement of this 3D image. In comparison with the previous generation, of course, the biggest disadvantage is the lack of USB Type-C wire in the kit. Everything else is the same or even better. For example, better packaging, a nice metal construct and tripod mount, a head ink, uh, the same as uh, simple OAC. And uh, the main problem remains the same, uh, the usual USB Type-C connector is used, there is no any amplification. Let's look at the heat removing system. According to the documentation, the case should warm up no more than 56.3 degree after an hour of operation. I left my OG delight for half on an hour and got uh, 56 degree. But of course the exact temperature will depend on the airflow around the device. And if you put it inside the case, the heating can be significantly higher. Uh, also, I tested my old oak and it warmed up a little weaker. Uh, maybe it's because it had a larger surface area. Uh, here I will leave uh, all video of the test, uh, so you can see distribution uh, of the gradient of heat over the camera. Let's move on and test 3D quality. OAC D Lite use the semi-global matching algorithm from OpenCV to estimate disparity. SGM is pretty complex algorithm for short overview. It's pretty old algorithm and uh, don't use neural networks. I will link uh, to Wikipedia if you're interested in it. The disadvantage of the algorithm is that it takes very little local information. As a result, the disparity quality becomes unreliable on smooth and uniform surfaces. There is a lot of noise in our exposed areas. But the algorithm is very fast. It's good for FPGA and of course it's implemented in the OpenCV. I did a very simple test to estimate camera accuracy. I took a box with a good texture, moved in from the minimum distance where the camera work to 1 meter and find the camera settings that give me maximum accuracy. I didn't test camera on longer distances because it's pretty rare condition for our use cases. Accuracy is better at short distances. As you move away from the camera, the accuracy decreases. At the minimum distance, the error was about uh, 0.5 cm. At the far end, uh, which is 1 meter for me, is about 1 cm. Uh, if you look at the documentation, both Z camera and RealSense camera have comparable accuracy. 
Uh, here you can see the table of my measurement. But the main problem, in my opinion, is not the accuracy. It's a very large percentage of holes and outliers. For real sense, the frame fullness is much higher and there is almost no noise. Same for the Z camera. Here are some examples of their work. As you can see, depth maps are more stable on Z camera. Partially, the problem with noise and uniform surfaces on the Org Delight can be solved. The first solution is to use smoothing algorithm. I will give a link in the description. Noise will not disappear, but at least some estimate of the plane parameters will appear. Uh, the disadvantage of smoothing is that uh, all open source algorithm perform calculation on the host machine. At the same time, such a picture look better for some of the task. The second solution is to use neural network to estimate depths from a stereo pair. Such a solution should work well, since the OAK D has a Myriad X chip on board for the calculation. But in practice, I, I couldn't find a working network that could do this. Uh, but uh, there is an issue uh, in the project GitHub dedicated to this problem. Uh, everyone is actively trying to launch some kind of network, uh, but uh, so far there are a uh, conversion problem. Uh, usually around uh, the last problems is around uh, Myriad blob uh, conversion and uh, there is a corresponding issue uh, on OpenVina uh, GitHub and uh, the OpenVina team working on this. But uh, if uh, they succeed, uh, I think it will be a bomb. <laughs> There is a third solution, but in my opinion, it's not interesting. Uh, you can use the neural network for monocular depth estimation. Examples are in the project repository, but uh, this doesn't make any sense. <laughs> and lastly, I will wrap up this small video. Is OAG D light better than real sense? Of course, no. Uh, the quality of real sense for 3D is significantly higher. It's significantly higher for all cameras that uh, have active illumination. Is OAG D light better than cameras like Z or Minti? In my opinion, no. Uh, higher operation temperature, uh, worse depth quality out of the box, but uh, OAG Delight has three advantages that lie in a completely different plane. Uh, the price is significantly cheaper. Potentially, the quality of depths will be better due to use our neural network. Uh, Myriad X chip on the board. Uh, for our robotic task, this is useless, I think. But there are many applications where it is needed. So, thank you for watching. Bye.